welcome back to our channel. I know I talked a little bit about sharing my um, grandma's broccoli salad recipe in the grocery haul I did yesterday, but I thought why not share really quick the pulled pork sandwich recipe that we are using as well. I found this on Pinterest years and years ago, probably, I don't know, eight years ago, if not more. And what you need is a three to four pound pork roast. I've already put my pork roast in the crock pot and then you need your favorite pork rub or just your favorite seasoning. So I just added a little bit of brown sugar. I added garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper. And you're gonna just put that on all sides of the pork and massage it in, which I have already done. And then you're just gonna take a 12 ounce can of Dr. Pepper. Now I just bought a two liter and I'm gonna measure it here in my Pyrex uh, mixing cup. And I'm gonna measure out the 12 ounces and then you're just going to pour the Dr. Pepper in with the pork rub. This is seriously the easiest pulled pork recipe you will ever try. It is so good, it's a crowd pleaser. My family requests it all the time. So that's why we are making it before my brother leaves to go back to Washington. And I'm all about quick and easy dinners. Um, so I have my 12 ounces of Dr. Pepper. I'm using diet just because I thought we would drink what was left of it and I prefer to drink diet. So I'm gonna pour the Dr. Pepper in with the roast. And I've already, like I said, I've already seasoned the pork roast. You just put the lid on and you literally cook this on low for 10 to 12 hours or high for seven to eight hours. When it's done, I'll come back and show you guys. You just shred it and add the barbecue sauce. Seriously, the most simple recipe ever, but that's all I have to do for now. So I will be back later when it is time to shred the pork roast, and I will be back shortly to show you guys my grandma's broccoli salad recipe. So see you guys in a little bit. All right, you guys, I am back and the pork is done. So what you do is you drain most of the liquid out. So I've already drained almost all the liquid out. Um, and then you just take two forks and you just shred the pork. Now it is only 418 here. My uh, echo back there is not correct when it comes to the time. So I'm going to shred this. This is done a lot sooner than I thought it would be. My crock pot cooks really high, you guys. Um, I probably need a new one but you're just gonna shred all of this up with two forks. And then you're just gonna add your desired amount of barbecue sauce and whatever barbecue sauce you like. It doesn't matter, whatever's your favorite barbecue sauce. Um, my family, we really love Sweet Baby Ray's, so that's just a go-to for us. And the nice thing about this dinner is after it, you shred it all and you add the barbecue sauce, it has to sit on low and like cook for another 30 minutes just to warm the barbecue sauce and get it all mixed together. So since it's only four o'clock, I'm gonna turn it on low for 30 minutes. And then after that, I'm gonna switch it to the keep warm option on my crock pot and just keep it nice and warm. We are taking this crock pot full of pork over to my parents' house. I already made the broccoli salad, which I showed you guys. And then I also made a um, coleslaw to go on top of the sandwiches. We like coleslaw on our pulled pork sandwiches. So I will show you that really quick and I can link the recipe for that as well. The coleslaw, I just bought a bag of the coleslaw mix and I found a dressing recipe online. So super quick and easy. Um, this is a larger bottle of, saw, of barbecue sauce. This is the 40 ounce. So I'm going to start by just squeezing in a decent amount. Put that fork in the sink and then I'm just going to mix it up and just get it to the desired amount of sauce that we like. It's all about personal preference. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. Like so, and then the pulled pork is done. That is probably good on the sauce for us. And then you're just gonna put the lid back on, like I said, and let it sit for another 30 minutes cooking on low. And then after that, I'll probably do that, like I said, the keep warm function until it's time to eat. Um, we're gonna also have french fries with it for the kids, the broccoli salad. I have the coleslaw to go on top of them and then some brownies for dessert. But before I forget, sorry about that guys. Once again, my phone ran out of storage. So I just deleted like four pages of games that my lovely children have download onto my, downloaded onto my phone. So really quick, this is the coleslaw I made to go on top of the pulled pork sandwiches. Um, it is the dressing recipe for that is from all recipes. And I will link that down below in the comments as well as the recipe for the pulled pork. And then here, if you have not watched my broccoli salad recipe, it will be a couple videos before this. Um, 
and here is what the broccoli salad looks like. So that's been chilling in the fridge for a few hours. So that is what we are having for dinner tonight. And I will be sure to leave the links for all of this stuff in the description. So let me know if you guys try all this stuff and what you think of it. And thanks for watching.